Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create this automatic carousel animation. Okay, let's create a frame first. I'm gonna use a desktop frame. Next, I'm gonna create a column tree. I will set up like this. After that, I'm gonna drag an image to the frame. Then scale down and align the image. Because I want the content to be clear, so I'm gonna make the, the image darker. I will create a rectangle to cover the image. Then I change the color to solid black. And reduce the opacity to 20%. Alright, it's time to add some text to this page. Because this video focuses on animation, I will speed up this part. Now I'm gonna duplicate it and change the image title and description. Alright, we're done with the reparation. Let's move on to the animation step. First, I'm gonna copy the title from slide 2 to slide 1. Then, put it down and reduce the opacity to 0%. Next, I'm gonna copy the description from slide 2 to slide 1 and reduce the opacity to 0% we are gonna do the same thing with the text in slide 1 I'm gonna copy the title and space in slide 2 then pull it up and reduce the opacity okay let's create a prototype because it is an automatic carousel I'm gonna select after delay and the time will be 3000 milliseconds 
then I will select smart anime and set up like this alright let's review the tech animation it looked good to me now I'm gonna do the same thing with slide 3 I will speed up this part Okay, this look good to me. Now we are gonna animate the image. First, I'm gonna create a mask for the image. And give it a name. Then I will copy the mask from slide 1 to slide 2 and drag it below the main image of slide 2 and now I'm gonna do the same thing with slide 2 I create a mask for image of slide 2 and rename it Next, I'm gonna copy this mask and paste it on slide 1 and drag it below. Okay, I want this image to move from right to left. So I'm gonna pull this mask off the slide. I also want to add zoom effects for the imagery. I'm gonna zoom in sub picture in slide 2. and zoom in high long picture in slide 1 and now we have this animation it looks nice to me Now I'm gonna do the same thing with slide 3 Alright, let's see how it look It looks good to me Next, I will create a loop animation for these slides. However, if I connect slide 3 to slide 1, the animation will not work properly. Let's see what happened. To solve this, I'm gonna create a slide 4 that is copy of slide 1 then I'm gonna connect slide 3 to slide 4 and set up the animation like this next I'm gonna connect slide 4 to slide 1 and set the duration to 1 millisecond 
and select instant animation now I'm gonna change the mask I'm gonna copy the mask of slide 3 to slide 4 and pull it down I'm gonna zoom in the image of Phu Quốc Next, I'm gonna rename the mask of slide 4 because if it has the same name as slide 1, the animation will not work properly Then, I'm gonna copy the mask of slide 4 to slide 3 and pull it down And I'm gonna zoom in this is about picture then I'm gonna pull the mask off the slide you need to hold the space button so that the mask doesn't go out of frame ok let's see how it looks Oh, I did something wrong. Let's fix it. First, I'm gonna delete irrelevant content. Oh, I see the problem here. I'm gonna drag this sapa to our focal group. Next, I'm gonna change the text I'm gonna copy Google title and paste in slide 4 Pull it up And reduce the opacity to 0% I'm gonna do the same thing with the title And pull it down Next, I'm gonna copy and paste the description now let's see the result all right it works perfectly that's all for today hope you like it thanks for watching